Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the heavyweight bout on the contender series between Austin Lane versus Richard Jacoby. And how I see this one right here is I'm going to go low confidence Austin Lane. I said Lane. Austin Lane. He's not a lame. He's a cool dude. He got had that rough patch. His last time on contender series with um Greg Hardy and all. But since then, he ain't like that lost to find him. He got back on his horse and now he's back on the contender series. He put some wins together and hoping to get in the UFC and make something of his career. I mean he already made something of his career. And not to say, oh, you the UFC your end all be all. He's done some great things in his career. Kudos to him, especially getting even just getting back in the cage and then going on a winning streak and whatnot, and improving and getting better with Greg Hardy himself has refused to put on the gi, refused to get to the mat. So you winning, Austin Lane. You win it. You got back on. You lost. And you did what winners do. You got back up. You started winning. You got back to winning. So good on him. Good on him for sure. And much respect to that. But I got to go Austin, lower confidence Austin Lane here because I still don't really know the extent to his skill set. And also Richard Jacoby is kind of a question mark as well. For what I'm kind of saying, Richard Kobe ain't really the most technical striker, but neither is Lane, to be honest. I said neither of you guys are terrible strikers or anything like that, but I wouldn't put him in like, oh, these guys are world-class strikers. I would not put them in that category. So it's like, with um, Austin Lane, I feel like he has a lot of heart. I mean, I'm not saying he has no skills. He has skills, but I wouldn't say he's like a super technical striker. He's not like, he's like, what is your base? He's not like no tech, he don't have no, like no real boxer. He's not no kickboxer. He's not no Muay Thai specialist. He's not a karate guy. It's like he don't have a true background. He's like a full-fledged mixed martial artist. He don't have no wrestling background. He's like with a football background. I think he was in the NFL. So solid dude right there and all, but no true background. So and I feel like um, Jacoby shows him a bit of striking, but I don't feel like he had a true, like looking at how he strikes and when he did like with kickboxing, Muay Thai, I think it was kickboxing. It don't really show like a guy that's really been doing this their whole life or really been a guy that's been doing this at a decent level. But he show like he got some he did some decent training. He trained a bit, but even him you can't really say that's established. So when a fight like this, it could easily end up who can catch that guy first. But while I'm leaning to um Justin Lane is the fact that he has shown me that toughness. He has fought better competition, has beaten better competition, and he has had to go in there deep and pull out wins like he did against um I forget his name right now, but uh Juan Adams. But yeah, I like the toughness on Justin Lane. I like the fact that he's able to go rounds and, you know, get strong as the fight goes on. Whereas I feel like Richard Jacoby is currently showing so far as a guy that's either he gets you out early or a dud. It might not really show that in his record just yet, but that's what it's saying. Like, anytime I start seeing a guy that's, any with the way he fights, on like a guy that's going, that's built for longevity or built for to last, is what I'm trying to say. So, what I just feel is that um, um, Jacoby might have a little bit of early success, maybe even get cracked early, but. His best chance is going to be the first round, but either that, like, you know, success or no success, I feel like he gets extended out of the first round and he gets put out second round. I feel like he's going to let it all out the first round, and then Austin Lane is just going to be able to catch him and tag him pretty easily in the second round. Maybe, even like I said, mixing the takedown or something. Just, like, have a tired opponent and be able to, like, just wear on him, touch him up on the feet, maybe even drag him on to the ground. I don't think all these guys are particularly great on the ground. And just land ground to pound just Wear on the tire phone, probably clinch him up, land some knees, land some punches, and just wear on the tire guy, like, leave some punches, work in the clinch, drag the mat, ground the pound, but either way, puts away a faded fighter in the second. So in this one, I got Austin Lane via second round TKO.